Now to the Boston bombing suspect appearing in a packed courtroom for the first time Wednesday, coming face to face with many of the victims and their families, showing no remorse. ABC's senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas was there. He joins us this morning. Pierre. Good morning, Amy. That's right. It was the bombing suspect's demeanor in court that left many victims livid. Joe Karzarnayev walked into court surrounded by guards and dressed in an orange jumpsuit, the left side of his face swollen and his arm bandaged. He politely pleaded not guilty to 30 charges, accusing him of killing and wounding 260 by planting two bombs at the Boston Marathon. He was remarkably composed for a man potentially facing the death penalty. Some victims said he even appeared to grin. What struck you about his demeanor? That he was smirking and had no care for, I don't know, just, uh, you know, that he just had the audacity to smirk at us. That's how I took it. Each of Liz Norton's two sons lost a leg in the horrific blast. They can be seen here in a photograph with the man police say is Jokar. But Zarnayev did have some support. His two sisters sat in the courtroom, weeping as the hearing ended and as they left the courthouse. Tears that angered many victims. I wanted her to come home to my house and see what I go through day in and day out and see my, what my boys are going through. 20 MIT police officers stood in formation. They were there to honor Sean Collier, who was allegedly shot and killed by the bombers on the night they tried to flee Boston. I didn't see the remorse. I didn't see the, um, the nervousness or the fear. Or, I didn't see any of that. That demeanor offended some victims here. Some who now say they rather see Zarnayev spend the rest of his life in jail. Others want the death penalty. They want this young man to pay with his life. Amy? All right, Pierre Thomas, that is a tough day in court oh, for all involved. Is.